Welcome back guys. So today I want to take a look at the GC Loader, a brand new mod for the Nintendo GameCube that replaces the disk drive and allows us to play games off of an SD card. So I'm going to be showcasing here my installation that I did. I am a novice when it comes to mod work and I was able to do this job very easily. So just wanted to kind of showcase that. It took me about 30, 35 minutes to do uh, the work on this. I've never opened the GameCube before. So in the background, you do see I have a Citrus 3000 PSI's tutorial showing this process so I could reference that. Um, and I did pause it here and there to double check on things. Like I said, never opened one of these before, but it was a very simple process. I'll put a link to his tutorial because my video is not to be taken as a tutorial, more of a, my experience and sharing this with you guys. But if you're not comfortable doing this kind of mod work, there are people out there who do excellent work. I always have to recommend Dragon's Horde Gaming does amazing work, has done a lot of my consoles, and I have him commissioned for a few other things as well. I'll put a link in the description for him, but man, this mod has simply blown me away. So you can easily launch Homebrew and your existing library of games. You guys know what that means. Retails for $80, a very reasonably priced mod in my opinion. And as you see here in the video, I finally got to that bottom part of the board and I'm soldering on this ribbon cable. That is the only part where you have to solder. And there's a bunch of little spots, but they're fairly far apart from each other. And like I said, I'm no pro at this. This is the first time I've soldered in a while. Use some no clean flux. Flux is definitely your friend doing this kind of work. Um, but I got it in there without any issues. A little close up of my work. Not the best, but hey, everything is connected and connected well. But the cool thing with this mod is that to load your games, this has full audio streaming support, whereas other options don't support that. So there are games that utilize, you know, audio streaming and you're going to have no issues with that on this. So really cool stuff. Faster loading times when compared to the original uh, drive. Firmware updatable, if there are any issues, they can be resolved with a very easy to do firmware update. I've had to update mine once. And it was just a simple process, throwing the update on the SD card and just running it and it updated. Very simple, nothing crazy that you have to do. So I've really been digging this. You can use Swiss to load everything up. You don't have to use Swiss. You can just put your games on the SD card. I'm gonna show you my SD card format in a second here uh, after the little installation is done. But you could just throw on you know, a game, but then you're only putting on one game on an SD card. If you use Swiss, you could just dump as many games as you could fit on your SD card and run them that way with a nice little user interface. That's the way I'm doing it. And I'll showcase that in a second and kind of talk about a few things as well. But yeah, for this being like the first time in a while I've had to solder anything, a very simple and easy process. I, I really, uh, I astonished myself. I, I, I did good, I think. You know, my GameCube here looks a little booty, but I actually changed some things up. Uh, reshelled it and all that good stuff. And I did get the uh, Laser Bear Industries uh, SD card adapter for this. If you get one of those, you'd want to install it now. I had to take everything apart and, and install it um, after I got it because I already did the mod. But very awesome using that product uh, allows you to simply just plug in your SD card from the top. As you see in this video here, it's like recessed down. So not a big deal, but with the uh, Laser Bear Industries mount or adapter, whatever you want to call it, it just makes things a lot easier, you know, push in uh, to, to pop out your SD card. You have a couple slots in order to, um, you know, store extra cards if you so choose. A very, very cool little product, little extra add-on for this mod that I think is really cool. But taking a look at the SD card before we test this out, kind of showcase some gameplay, how things work, because you'll be astonished. If you love things like the GDMU and the Rea, and you, you don't mind, you know, not using the physical media. You just want to load up games off of an SD card. This, this is just so simple. No fuss. Like, I've, I've struggled with, like, the Raya getting things to work properly, the PSIO to get things working properly. This was just simple. It was a cakewalk. My God. So FAT32 on your SD card, and you're good to go. Downloading Swiss, you can get Swiss off of GitHub. I'll put links in the description to all this stuff. Uh, you would download it down here. It's a zip file, a few megabytes, no biggie. Um, and then you would throw it on your SD card after you unzipped it. You would have this uh, folder here for whatever the most recent version is. And then in, in that folder, you'll have an ISO folder. You'll find the region that you want. Take that, put it on the root. 
and then rename it boot. So I have that right here. This is Swiss, boot.iso. So when you pop that into the GameCube, load it up, you'll be greeted to a nice little menu with all your games that you have on the card listed in sequence and just can easily load from there. So as you see, I have a few games. I'm using a small card at this moment. Um, have a few games. They're all .iso, so that's the format you're using here. Um, and I also have the Game Boy interface loaded on here as well, so we'll test that out. But really, really cool mod. I'm one of my favorites. Just so simple to get it installed, simple to set up the SD card and get things going. So let's go ahead and switch on over to actually using this thing and test it out. So there we go. Everything loaded up. Very simple. As you saw my SD card earlier, the only thing I did was put the ISOs for the games I wanted to play. I put Swiss and Game Boy Interface. I didn't do anything else to get this set up. So very cool. You know, all the icons, everything listed, very easily accessible and navigatable to get these games running. So we're going to test a couple things out, give you guys you know, some kind of impression on how this works. Very very awesome indeed. So I think if we hit the B button, you can go down the settings here and there's going to be a bunch of global settings you can mess with. I'm not going to mess with any of this stuff right now, but there is a lot of stuff you can do. Configuration device, like for saving, um, you know, certain things within the, the user interface. I did change it to memory card slot A. That way, if I set something, uh, change something, some kind of setting, it'll save it to the memory card that I'm using in the GameCube, the actual GameCube memory card. Uh, so there's that. Like I said, tons of different stuff you can mess with. Uh, but let's go ahead and uh, test the game real quick. Uh, let's see here. Mario Kart, why not? So if you hit the A button on a game, uh, you'll have a bunch of information here. Tell you if there's audio streaming or not, if you're using Swiss. But hey, with the GC loader, audio streaming is not an issue. You could load up treat cheats by hitting the Y button. Treats. Yeah, this is a treat. X button for settings, you get some of those uh, similar settings that were in the global settings, video modes and all that stuff. Um, if you want to save it, you do have to have it set up to save to the memory card or whatever. Um, so keep that in mind. But there we go. We can discard that. Just boot the game, hit the A button, and here we go. I am using the Eon uh, GCHD Mark II in order to plug this in through HDMI. That's definitely another device I would highly recommend, but there's tons of options out there. Uh, the uh, Insurrection Industries Carby does pretty much the same thing if you just want HDMI for your GameCube, uh, and that goes for a lot less money, like 75 bucks. So highly recommend if you're looking for something like that to check those out. But as you saw, the game loaded up very quick. Let's go ahead and jump into a quick race. Why not? And, and so far, testing this out, I've tested a bunch of games, and I haven't ran into any issues. Um, I'm sure there's bound to be something out there, uh, but as long as people figure things out and, you know, it's it's noted that there's an issue, that stuff can be updated, fixed with uh, firmware upgrades and updates. So that is a good thing. Uh, but like I said, so far, I've not had any issues with anything but just can't guarantee you won't you won't find something that there's an issue with but just like i said keep it in mind that these things can be ironed out and fixed if they are discovered and you know the appropriate people find out about it so that would be you know extremes with swiss and citrus uh 3000 psi um you know they've been working to make sure everything is functioning with the gc loader on those different ends there with swiss and just the basic functionality of how this thing is supposed to work. So there's that. I'm not doing too great here. I'm just trying to showcase that, hey, these games work. So let's go ahead and uh, test something else out. So Game Boy Interface, you could load this up as long as you have the Game Boy Player and play your Game Boy games a hell of a lot better looking than using the standard uh, disc, the, the startup disc that came with the Game Boy Player. There's tons of different options here as well. Um, so keep that stuff in mind so that you can mess with, but always, always really look into it. I put it to 480p by 60 cause I can't record otherwise, but there's that. We'll hit start, start it up. 
I don't, I'm not even sure what game I have in here. Blowing up the screen a little bit. Shutting that off. Oh! Metroid. Very beautiful way to play uh, Game Boy Advance and Game Boy games on the GameCube. Uh, you know, I know there's options out there like the Game Boy Advance Consolizer, which is awesome. The Analog Pocket, which who knows when the hell that's going to come out or when pre-orders are going to start. Man, if this video's up and, you know, a year later we still don't have pre-orders, I don't know what to tell you. But yeah, there's, there's tons of options for this to play original cartridges. But with Game Boy Interface, man, uh, things are just really beautiful can't complain i've been i've been a i've been converted to game boy interface very simple like i just downloaded off of uh the website and threw it on the card and then just select there's a bunch of different options different ways uh that game boy interface is set up that you can mess with just something to look into i uh, will definitely be doing more content with the gc loader uh testing things out maybe streaming some more this is like a a, a redo of my stream i streamed for like several hours talking about the GC loader and I just wanted to do a shorter video to kind of showcase this stuff to you guys. But there's that Game Boy uh, interface playing, playing some Metroid. So I've really been enjoying my time with the GC loader. I've, I've been blown away. You know, I'm always looking at these new options out there to be able to play games on original consoles in a different way. With these disc-based systems, you know, the drives can go out, you can have problems and being able to replace them with something that reads off an of SD card is, is a dream come true to me for various reasons. I'm sure you can imagine why. A lot of games are just out of reach, hard, you know, to get, you know, due to rarity or price, whatever the case may be. You know, you find games out there and the condition can be pretty damn poor. So for me, this is this is legit. This is the way I want to play my GameCube. You know, I was accumulating a few games, not too many. I had a, a little collection. I wound up getting rid of them after this because this is this is the way for me and it's it's just amazing i know it's not going to be for everyone there's a lot of people who prefer to use oops <laughs> original discs with the drive or even to emulate instead there's tons of options out there no right or wrong answers this is just an option i thought was amazing and for me it's it's just the way it's going to be so i want to give uh mark besser a big thanks and shout out he hooked it up with the uh, GC loader. I didn't receive it for free for review or anything. I just missed out on the initial order uh, and he was able to grab me one I paid him for it. So thanks, Mark. Really do appreciate it. Now I'm getting to enjoy this thing. I've been using it a lot lately, man. Really, really blown away. So, hey guys, really do appreciate you hanging out with me. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, drop them down below in the comments section like the video share my channel subscribe if you haven't done so already all that good stuff you know what's up i don't usually beg for those things but hey help a brother grow his channel and those are the things you could do man really do appreciate you guys and i will catch y'all next time peace out bye bye and boom bye